Okay, so this is a video about Rick and Morty. So this might contain spoilers. That's up to you for you to decide. I've only seen up to season four because that's all that HBO has. And that's what I've been watching. I just happened to start watching it recently. Just like a few months ago, just got done watching every single episode, all season four. And so I have some thesis ideas and stuff. And now I want to run the past you. And I'm very interested to see what you have to say in the comments and what your ideas on Rick and Morty are. So let me know and but let me tell you so this I'm gonna start right now so Rick Rick is always burping right he's always going burping 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 being crazy and because he's always doing this uh he's where's the air coming from you know I mean obviously his stomach makes you know tons of gases and things like that but uh it seems like he makes a lot more air than other people most people don't burp as much as he does Okay, that's something that I do all the time is burping. I just, I just, all of a sudden, just air just spawns in me. Okay, and it's like there's expansion inside of there. So, what I've thought of is that Rick is actually, if it, so, there's an episode on the fourth dimension, uh, done on YouTube by the uh, YouTube channel Vertasium, I believe it is. Um, he has the best explanation of the fourth dimension in simplistic terms for the average person to understand. And so the fourth dimension is uh, be able to like phase in and out of size. So you can take something and make it really small, something really small and bring it in, make it big, something big, make bring it down really small, make it disappear. Okay. So you're able to spawn in and bring in re reality into an area. And if that is just uh, air, and it's it just just exp expanding air, then you could be bringing in infinite reality from your stomach, burping it up, but you're spewing forth reality, you're spewing forth all of it. And so every time that he's burping, he is he is the singularity, everything that was ever created, you know, as, and just as we all are, all of us are, every sing ever we're all, everything that was ever created. You have the ability to tap in the back of your mind, which is where the, everything is. Your frontal lobe is a trap. That's a trap. The third eye right here. That's a tra trap. Go to the back of your mind. Picture the top back. Just like the, the tribes used to elongate their skulls high and up. Okay? That's where the power is. That's where the subconscious mind is. Frontal lobe is, yeah, that's where your other stuff is. So, anyways, Rick is basically the portal. He has his portal gun, but he is the portal gun. He is the portal itself, okay? And so, he's able to control everything with just himself. He is the singularity, okay? And so, it's just because we all are, and it's just life. We're living in the kaleidoscope reality of existence. We are the receivers of the signal of the creator that is all alone, and entering bodies to forget the fact that we're all alone. And that's it. We don't want to face the fact that we're completely alone in the universe. It's just nothing but us. Anyways, I'm kind of ranting here, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're new to this channel, you might want to subscribe. Otherwise, you'll never see it again. And there's lots of good stuff in this channel. Very important information. Very important things. Okay? And... Some stuff I, I like to reiterate, some things I make multiple videos about, but I like to just come and make as best videos as I can for you. So I hope you enjoyed this. And to everyone who's a subscriber already, you're amazing. I love you all. And I hope you all have a glorious, magnificent, wonderful, beautiful, awesome, amazing, incredible, fantastic day and existence. And I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye-bye.